What up, guys? I'm Austin. Welcome to my online chat. I'm here for you guys, so I'm going to answer some questions today. Let's see here. I got my iPad. Okay. At Denise Truder wants to know if you could change anything of your life, what would it be and why? That is a good question. Um, uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe to be a little taller. Maybe a couple inches taller. I want to be six foot, so hopefully I will reach that goal someday. Um, <clears throat> next one is from at Alina H and M. If you could rename yourself, what name would you like? That is another good question. Um, maybe Theodore. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it just came to me. Uh, at Boy Mahomey 74 wants to know, are you ever going to come to Ireland? Um, right now, I have no clue if I'm going to come to Ireland. Um, hopefully, I will soon, though, because I'd like to you know, travel the world and see new places. So uh, hopefully, I will. At Madison M24 wants to know, are you excited to go on tour with Taylor Swift? Eh, not really. Come on, of course I am. <laughs> she is one of the nicest girls ever. She's very talented, and I'm very, 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 very excited to go on tour with her. I've never been on tour, so it um, should be fun. Um, <laughs> At Maggie Lindsay wants to know which one of your shows has been the loudest audience so far. Um, I would probably say one of the loudest audiences would ha probably have to be when I went to London for the first time. I got off the plane and I went to a show on actually on top of a building, so it was really really weird, but. Um, London, the girls, my Londonese girls are just crazy. They're super loud, and I can't wait to go back to London soon. Yes. Yes. I actually don't remember the, n the ones I'm nominated for, but uh, I don't really care. As long as I, you know, go home with one, I'm happy. So. I'm actually performing um, "Say Something" as my first song. And then that's going to be televised. And then Say Just a Friend, which is not going to be televised, but yeah, it's going to be a blast. Yeah. Um, Trinity and Amy want to know what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a tiger because I like tigers. Okay. Nika Kika wants to know, <laughs> if you didn't become famous, what do you think you would do in life? That is an awesome question. What? What, mom? <laughs> let, no, let me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Before I became a singer, my mom wanted me to become an architect because, I don't know. But that would be the most boring job ever in life, and I'm glad <laughs> I'm a singer and not an architect. Um... <laughs> What is a song that I never get tired of? I never get tired of With You by Chris Brown. That is an amazing song. Lulu Biebs wants to know about my new single and album. My new single is going to come out um, really soon, next couple weeks, probably next couple months. So um, get ready for that because it's going to be amazing. It's a new style. Never heard of it before. So. It's a game changer. And um, my new album, my first album coming out around the fall. So um, that's going to be really good. I worked with Red One in the studio. He's the nicest guy ever. So um, it's going to be a good album. And be sure to get it when it comes out. Let's go to Twitter here. May see me right now? Do they know where to go, too? If you guys are watching, hashtag 
Austin on Cam Bio. Ask me questions. Is that how I say it? Cambio. Oh, Cambio. My bad. <laughs> All right. Pizza or Skittles from Nicole Loves MH? Um, probably pizza. I have pizza about every meal of the day, so I'm addicted. And I need to get. I've actually never tried that, but that's a good idea. I have issues. <clears throat> Let's see here. Lots of follow me's on here. Mm, do you have any questions on your list? Um, talk more about your album coming out in the fall. Huh? Talk more about your album coming out in the fall. Um, I mean, pretty much covered everything. It's coming out in the fall. Be sure to get it. Um, lots of great songs on there. You said your new single is different. Than yeah. How is it different? It's different because it's just like, it's like a mixture of a lot of things, like, like trap music and then kind of like some older stuff, but kind of modernized a little bit. So it's just, it's got a different sound. Like I've never heard anything like it before. And I think people are going to really enjoy it. So I'm excited to put it out. Um, one of my inspirations is Chris Brown because he's just an amazing singer. He's an awesome performer, and he's just amazing at what he does. So, yeah. How is your dancing? My dancing, it's getting better. Um, every day, just getting better at dancing. Um, I'm excited to, you know, like I said, perform with Taylor Swift. So, um, it's gonna be crazy, like 70,000 people, like, like crazy. So, I'm excited. What are you most excited for about the show? Mm. Probably, I'm actually really excited about getting a tour bus, just because I think it's going to be fun, just like, you know, sleeping all day, going to a new city, and then performing at night. Have you yeah. met hey, can someone turn that phone off, please? It's very distracting. <laughs> Have you, you met her yet? Yeah, I met her a year ago. She's actually, like, like one of the nicest people ever. Um, I met her in this little uh, cafe in Nashville. And I told her that I was a singer on YouTube, and then she was like, that's really cool, you know, <laughs> never give up on your dreams. Now I'm touring with her. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. How did you find out that you wanted to, to dance with her? Well, my manager, Rocco, who's over here. Come say hi, Rocco. Yo. Yo, come say hi. Come pop a squat. Guest star. Guest star, Rocco. There he is. What's up, guys? So this guy, <laughs> this guy uh, hit Taylor's manager. Um, about doing uh, a song, and then her manager was like, you know what, forget the song, just come on tour with us. I was like, all right. So, yeah. Are you going to prank her? Yo, what are you on? I don't know. Rackspace.com? What, <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> Rack? No, that's their radio. Yeah, go to Twitter. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Are you going to prank her on tour? Yeah, probably. I, I got I to gotta think of some pranks to do. Okay, Rock, about that. Um, well, he was actually on YouTube, you know, just surfing, and he saw me, and then uh, flew me out to Miami. And I met, like, I have four managers, actually, so, yeah, we got a big team. But I met all the managers, I liked them, me and my mom, um, they took us to a heat game, um, and then, oh, yeah, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, so we liked them so much, and we signed with them, and now I live in Miami. Where are you from? Uh, Texas, San Antonio. No, not at all. I was just doing it for fun with my friend. And then, um, you know, I just started posting covers. And actually, that's when I learned how to play instruments because I didn't want to, you know, just sit in my room and just sit there and just sing. Like, I wanted to entertain people and, like, play, like, piano or guitar. So that's when I actually learned how to play, like, lots of instruments. And, um, you know, definitely come a long way since then. And it's been an awesome journey so far. All right, you want to answer some questions? Uh, that's what we're doing. I'm reading this on Twitter. Okay, yeah. All right, Evelyn Bella S. says, can you say some words in Spanish? Hola, como estas? Te amo. Do you like pandas? From the pandas? Asian I do like pandas. They're, uh... Great. Great. That's the word I was looking for. Um, Let's go rapid fire. I mean, not rapid fire. Normal. I'm just scrolling. Uh, Does this thing pick up good sound? Is this where it's hearing me from, right yeah. here? Yeah. Right here. Sarah, Sarah H. G. A. says, "You sing in the shower." 
Um, I do sing in the shower. I think everybody sings in the shower. Uh, I sing uh, Celine Dion song in the shower. Mexico? Celine Dion. Which song? Like yeah. Okay. And a lot of Whitney Houston. I will always love you. Yeah. When are you coming to Mexico? <laughs> I'm actually coming to Mexico in like a couple days. So I'm really excited about that because I've never been to Mexico. So um, it should be fun. I do. I, I perform uh, Let Me Love You by Mario, um, Beautiful Soul by Jesse McCartney. Um, you like that song? Oh, you like that. I could tell by that facial expression. That's awesome. What's your favorite song you've ever done? Um, probably Let Me Love You. It's just a fun song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably Heart in My Hand. Because it's the one that got the farthest on iTunes. Oh, get that on iTunes, by the way. Heart in my hand. It's a good song, so you should get it. What else? Uh, what's your favorite song oh, at the what? moment? My favorite song at the moment. Oh. That is a good question. What's your favorite song at the moment? Um, good question. There's so many songs out right now. Probably four years old by Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. You hate that song. Ah. Where's Natasha? <coughs> I want to thank you for the shoes, by the way. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I want to do a song with Chris, though. Yeah, I think I'd be a good one. Let's go. I have some questions. I'm trying to find good ones. Do you want me to read all of them? Go ahead. I don't care. Where do you get your style and voice? Um, uh, I don't really know. I just, when I, when I buy clothes, I just like to, you know, I like to go in stores and if I see something I like, I'll just buy it. That's really stylish. Thank you. I appreciate it. Although I got to owe it to Natasha with PMK. They gave me these shoes for my birthday, so thank you. Thank you. They're like some weird Australian shoes. They're called Ruse. They're sweet, they're awesome. Thank you. They're huge. <laughs> this actually like comes off. So Ooh. yeah, it's pretty dope. When's Rocco getting his turn? Never. <laughs> he rocks these every day. He swears he has more shoes, but he rocks these every day. Yeah, probably. Um, what am I, 17? Yes, you are. Probably. Uh, maybe, I don't know, 15. Oldest. Maybe like 24. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Would you rather have one missing ear or one missing eyebrow? Ear? Ear or an eyebrow? I mean, I think I need my ears to, you know, listen to music. So, actually, don't don't like people like have those like they like draw eyebrows. I could always just draw an eyebrow. So, yeah. They are very dedicated. I love my Filipino Mahomies. Did you come up with that term? Mahomies, yes. I did. Um, me and my friend Alex were just talking about, you know, um, all these like, fan names that are out there. They're, you know, super clever. So um, I was like, you know what? If I ever had a fan base one day, call them Mahomies. And then I guess it stuck. It's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. What was your craziest fan experience as a Mmm. I haven't really had any crazy ones, like really crazy ones yet, but um, I had a girl send me a chair in the mail. A chair? A chair, yeah. Did you use it? Yeah. It's an, I, one of those big office chairs. Really? Yeah. What was the deal with that? I don't know. <laughs> it was a nice, nice gift though. Yeah. So I thought that counts. Well, now that you want to know, what's your best album you've 
My best childhood memory? Um, there's so many. Yeah, I know. Better moderator. Yeah, she is. Uh, probably, I can tell you one of my most embarrassing ones. Um, one time, I was water skiing when I was like five, and somehow my swim trunks got ripped off. But it was weird because the skis were still on my feet, and they weren't ripped, so they just magically just floated off my body. <laughs> And I was skiing naked in front of my whole family, like, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. Have you ever seen a Mahomie who caught your eye? There's been many Mahomies that caught my eye. Many Mahomies. Good question. Would you ever date a fan? Yeah, you just never know. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Um... I don't know, probably not. I'm not much of a tattoo guy. Maybe in the future? Or? Maybe when I'm like 40. But not right now. What, Roof? Do you want to come say hi? Sounds good. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Which one is on, like, live? This one. The, what is this one? This one's extra. Oh. Hi, guys. There you go. <laughs> Can I sign that wall behind you? Anything, any, any other questions from over here? Questions? No. No? Questions? 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 Uh, Next door is waiting for you with tacos. Oh, good, because I love tacos. All right, what's one really precious thing you want to let everyone know before we sign off? Um, I want to let everyone know that I am so thankful for your support and your love, and I wouldn't be here without you, so thank you. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Austin Mahone. Uh, get my single, Heart My Hand, which is on iTunes. Also, Say Something or Say It with a Friend, which are also on iTunes. Um, be ready for my album that's going to drop in the fall. Get my new single that's going to come out in about a month, so be ready for that. And that's about it. That's Basically, it. awesome. Right. Yeah, let's okay. take two more questions. Do you have some? That's a good question. I've had some girls ask me if, if they can come home with me. They're like, can, can I take a ride in your car? I'm like, I'm like uh, I think it's not enough room. <laughs> What's your favorite snapback? Snapback? Yeah, a hat. A hat? Uh, I don't know. I have so many. I have like over 200 hats in my room. Which color are you going to now? Red. Red? Yes. It's my favorite color. Have you always worn hats or is this a Yes. I've worn hats like since I was like one. Yeah. You were born wearing hats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. You have any more questions? All right, well. I like your dress, by the way. It looks nice. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be on the Radio Disney Awards, uh, performing. I'm the first performer, um, so be sure to tune into that and watch me perform my song, Say Something. Thank you. All right. Well, Bye, you. guys. I love you. I'll see you later. <laughs>